Vince McMahon threw quite a few of his toys away, but since he couldn't fight his urges and had to get his noodle wet, the boss had to retire. Triple H became the head of creative and it was raining returns ever since. It was raining men and women. And while 2022 is not over yet, I have my fingers crossed for a Chiro Man Ryback return for like a year now. I'm serious, I can't let it go. Baby, come back. It's fair to say we ain't gonna get many returns until the Royal Rumble, which is 2023. So in today's video, I'm doing a tier list of WWE returns in 2022. Royal Rumble and other minor appearances don't count. Sorry, Nikki Bella. Girl, bye. Karrion Cross and Scarlet. This was actually one of the first returns we got from Triple H. We all know Karrion Cross is Triple H's boy. Vince McMahon absolutely ruined him when he dressed him as a sex toy. His opponents were like, do I need to wrestle or use him as a dill? Karrion Cross came back to the WWE by attacking Drew McIntyre and sending a message to Roman Reigns. I think the return itself was great, really unexpected. I don't believe I've heard any rumors. So here's how it goes. We have a bunch of tiers. We're ranking the return based on the moment, whether it was worth it, and how successful the return has been so far. And when it comes to Karrion Cross, I think it's right in the middle. I believe his feud with Drew McIntyre was isn't as good as expected, so that's kind of unfortunate. It seems like he's supposed to be a main eventer, but something is really, really off. The moment itself was great. I think I would put Karrion Cross in the C tier. Just like I've said, so far, 50-50. Cody Rhodes. This was an absolute shocker. Cody Rhodes left AEW, even though he's one of the founders, basically, and he returned at WrestleMania. We all kinda expected it, but that doesn't matter. It was still shocking. The fact that he used the same theme song, the same attire, the same gimmick, the same name, everything. That was insane. Also, it happened under Vince McMahon, so that's another important note. This was perfect. The return itself, amazing, at WrestleMania, crowd reaction, he won, great match, literally couldn't go any better. What's also important is that his run was actually unbelievable so far. Obviously, he's injured now, but his feud against Seth Rollins was so damn good. Every match was like a five-star classic, basically, and this made him into such a badass. Legit, we all think that Cody Rose is the only man who should take these championships from Roman Reigns. So, Y'all know how this one goes. As no questions asked. Candice, the fit in your mouth. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the jokes. Candice LeRae. I think it's underwhelming. I think we are running into a problem and I already know what I'm going to say about most of these. I'm glad all of these people are back in the WWE, but since all of these returns happen almost at the same time, WWE can't use them all. So a lot of these wrestlers are just basically running around doing nothing. And that's what I'm seeing from Candice LeRae. She barely won. She's just there. The return itself was okay. I think it was... I think it was fine. Okay, we're moving across to the B tier, and Candice belongs in the C tier. I also gotta judge this on how good they actually are, and carrying Cross, he's good. I was kinda too harsh. Johnny Gargano. We're definitely seeing a different side of Johnny Gargano right now. He returned very randomly. After a commercial, we just heard his music and it's like, oh, he's back. Awesome. And you know, he's different right now. He's a bit of a comedy character, and, I, that, and that's gonna change. I'm sure, but so far, it works. Like, I know we're kind of supposed to hate this, but I find him actually entertaining in a way. Some, not, not, not all the time, when he's doing the DX chop and all of that, don't do that ever again, please, Johnny. We hate that shit. Obviously, they're not using his full potential, but it's pretty much a success. The moment was great, stories were decent, and we got some cool matches. I think he belongs in the B tier. Dexter Loomis. Basically, the whole story is he returned without Triple H actually signing him, in kayfabe, of course. So he was running around chasing The Miz all this time, and finally he got a contract. Simply for the fact that it was so different, you know, this, I, I don't think this ever happened before, or at least in a very long time. So, this was genuinely surprising, a very different approach, 
and I think he's a great character. I think he belongs in the B too. Braun Strowman. Oh, let's talk about our Choo Choo guy. It's almost like I can't even talk about Braun Strowman. Every time I open my mouth about Braun Strowman, people get angry. But you know, his return was all right, very random, kind of underwhelming in my opinion, and I'm just being honest right here. I was happy to see Braun, but the return was Okay, Br Braun is back and he's doing nothing and you can still say the same thing. I will say it seems like he did improve in the ring, which is appreciated. Great job, Braun. So he was just kind of there, but then he decided to insult the roster, you know, making fun of guys like Ricochet, Rey Mysterio and all of that, which is, come on, dude, c c come on, like seriously. That literally, like all the respect I had for Braun Strowman, down the toilet. And I know he cares about that. He cares about my respect. But Braun Strowman still has some value. So far, I hate this run. Yes, Braun, you're in the E tier. Every momentum left he had, he kinda effed it up. Every Braun Strowman appearance is being treated like a surprise return. <gasps> It's a tr it's a Jojo behind me. The OC. Another one that I'm not sure how I feel about. AJ Styles has the OC. He brought them back because he needed backup. And it was cool, but I was never that big of a fan. I always felt like AJ Styles alone was better than with the OC. But that's just my personal preference. It's one of these returns that I'm just indifferent about. I don't really give a shit but i can't say that it was bad either i think they belong in the c tier mia yim a response to Rhea ripley she got no crowd reaction whatsoever so already the return itself not that good unfortunately again it's one of these returns where i don't know how i feel about i don't hate it i don't love it so just right in the middle stone cold steve austin well i know maybe it shouldn't be in this list but come on he came back to the wwe and wrestled at wrestlemania and you know what the match itself was great it was shocking i love these type of returns i know we're supposed to hate part-timers or whatever maybe, of course uh, stone cold steve austin is an exception i think even the biggest mark would be like okay stone cold steve austin i can understand the whole thing was just absolutely beautiful i think he belongs in the a tier simply because putting stone cold steve austin in the s tier wouldn't be fair because you know he's not an active competitor sarah logan okay hear me out i don't get that type of shit obviously we don't know much yet I, it was one of these moments where I just felt cringe, and that's not good, so I'm sure it's going to get better, I think, I hope it's gonna get better, but so far, I'm sorry, that was bad. Man, this video is getting negative, I don't get hit row. I think they're good in the ring, they're talented, they're charismatic, I don't get the gimmick, I'm not entertained by it, sometimes it's a bit cringe, I don't get it, that's probably my issue i know they have plenty of fans i simply don't get the appeal unfortunately so far including the return itself we didn't get any cool moments so uh yeah f emma so unfortunately she didn't get a crowd reaction too during her entrance if you were counting you heard like five farts unfortunately she didn't get a reaction now personally i was really really happy to see emma back because she didn't get the credit that she deserves you know because it was paige and emma in my opinion who kind of started the women's revolution i could be wrong but that's how i remember things for whatever reason and i think she's decent in the ring but every week she keeps losing so i couldn't really say that it was a successful return and again nothing against these wrestlers but I gotta be honest, it kinda sucks, right? Tega Knox. So she literally came back uh, a couple of days ago, so I, I can't really tell, right? I can't tell. I'm happy to see her. She's going to be in a with Liv Morgan, I think so. I kinda like that, so... Since I don't know how to feel about it yet, I think C is the right place. Ronda Rousey. I believe she came back during the Royal Rumble match. At first it was... Not so good, then once Triple H took over, we finally got round the rouse that we actually wanted to see, you know, she basically was the Brock Lesnar of women's division. That's what I always said, you don't need round the rousey wrestling on every show, she needs to act like she doesn't give a shit. And that's what Triple H did with the character, and it, and it was kinda working. But then something changed, and now every time I see Ronda Rousey with that championship, it's like, I get sad in a way, like it's so not entertaining to the point where i'm like 
that's sad. I, I remember I got that feeling during that Raw era, I believe in it was in 2018, when we had Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin in a tag team, in a group faction, whatever. I was watching Raw and I was like, I don't know what it is about that show, but I feel sad. I don't know how to explain this. So I'm going to put Ronda Rousey in D. We did get some cool moments and there's a lot of potential since she's a big star. But right now what's happening with Ronda Rousey is absolutely garbage. Damage control. So Bailey came back and then we got two surprises. Dakota Kai and Io Sky. At first I was really, really excited. I think that was a great idea. On paper, it sounds like a great faction. Then you heard the theme song. You listened to the theme song, you hated the theme song, you got diarrhea because of that theme song, and perhaps you even started hating music. But then they kept losing, and losing, and losing, and losing. The promos are just kinda annoying to me, you know, I, I don't get it. Everything so far was bad, except for a couple of good matches. Obviously, they're all very, very talented. As a faction, it just doesn't work. I've tried to like them. I really, really tried my best. But yes, people, I'm sitting right here, farting and giving them go-home heat. Yes, that's what I'm doing right here. Yeah, so far, this ain't working, in my opinion. They definitely need a change. And finally, Bray Wyatt. So this one is an obvious, right? The return itself was perfect. It was just a beautiful, a piece of art. That being said, he's obviously going to be in the top tiers. Now, let's compare it to Cody. We have a one big difference. When Cody came back, everything after the return was must-watch television. When it comes to Bray Wyatt, it's not bad, it's a very slow build, but we don't even know where it's going yet, so I can't really put it in the S tier. I'm enjoying it, even though I feel like it's a bit too slow. I really love the feud with LA Knight, but so far we don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe this whole Uncle Howdy shit and all of the other characters, maybe it's going to be just bad. Maybe it's going to be Sister Abigail. Remember that shit? We don't know yet, but the return itself, one of the best returns I've ever seen in my entire life. So I'm just gonna put it in A. I think that's where Bray Wyatt belongs so far. And this is my WWE 2022 returns tier list. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I probably effed up right here somewhere, but that's how I'm feeling so far. If you're watching this video in a few months, please check the date. Tier list videos is one of my most requested series. Uh, people keep talking about it and I decided to bring it back. I might even do the same ones because I believe my opinions changed quite a lot. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure to click that like button. The great one. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.